What's up everybody, Tony with High Tech Check, and today we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into the Enreal Air AR glasses. So in case you haven't heard of Enreal Air's AR glasses yet, these glasses do connect up to mobile devices using USB Type-C, and they project 130 inch to 210 inch picture inside the glasses that only you can see. Now Enreal just released these not too long ago to the US market through Amazon.com and I was fortunate enough to get my hands on them early before they sold out. This is not a sponsored video. Enreal did not send these to me. I purchased them again myself through Amazon.com and I will be giving you my full honest review. I can guarantee you that everything you're gonna to wanna to know about these glasses, I will address in this video, so stick with me till the end. I will also be putting a link in the description in case you guys wanna pick these up yourself, and if you guys like me and you wanna support my channel, please use those links when you make your purchase because it helps me keep purchasing products and do reviews for you guys. So before we get into the full review, let's go and see what you get inside the box. All right, so here we have our little user guides, a little wipe. Here are the glasses. Here we have some extra nose pieces, some little glasses holders here. Here's our plastic cover, very light. Nose covers have these little silicone nose pieces on them. We have a S for small and we have an L for large. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the glass here. It's got a nice Little case, feels nice and smooth, kind of like silicone. And here are the glasses themselves. Not too bad, not too heavy. You can see like there's these little uh, lenses on the ins inner sides of the sunglasses. And here we have a USB type C braided cable, which is pretty nice. Nice little case, got some felt liner inside. Keep your glasses from getting all scratched up. Let's go ahead and take a look at these glasses again. Again, they don't feel very heavy, but as you can see, they do have like these little screens in them. And that's where we're gonna see all the video. Looks like we have a little sensor right in the middle there. Again, they're not heavy. Let's see if we can move the Oh yeah, they do. They rotate up a little bit and they rotate down. They do bend out a little bit in case you have a bigger head. And there's our little USB type C connection. Okay, so I do have these hooked up directly to my Mac Studio and it is pretty much mirroring what I can see on my screens in these glasses without any extra software. I just simply plug them into the USB type C and it, it immediately shows the screen on the glasses. Pretty cool. Now there's another thing on the side here. We have what looks to be a brightness button when it's connected up to your Mac. And I'm assuming that this is the little power button here. And it also has some speakers kind of built into the frames here as well. It's pretty nice. All right, so I went ahead and put the black covers over the lenses. I will definitely tell you that putting these covers on the, the glasses greatly increase the contrast and the sharpness of the picture. So if you're not gonna be walking around or anything and you want the best experience, definitely gonna wanna put these shades on, but it is actually super clear. You, I can edit in Final Cut Pro using these glasses. That's how clear it is. It's pretty nice. Now I've had a chance to use these glasses for the past two weeks and I wanna give you my full experience with them. So it'll give you some idea of what you can expect when you purchase these glasses. Now, as far as comfort goes, the glasses only have one pad on each side of your nose, which may cause some discomfort for some. I know it did for me while using them. The glasses also are front heavy. Even without a built-in battery, after some time of using it, it does begin to be uncomfortable on your nose. I'd rather it have a full nose piece like regular sunglasses do. I think it'd be a lot more comfortable. They wrap around your ears just fine and I don't feel any discomfort there. The cable also coming off the earpiece also is not an issue. Now trying to use these glasses without the cover, even at full brightness outside, will make the image hard to see, especially if what is being displayed is dark. If you plan on watching any videos outside, you will definitely need to use that cover 
which of course will block your vision. Even with using the cover in a bright environment, you will still get glare on the screen from the light coming in from the sides, which can be annoying with darker portions of the screen. The best experience you're gonna have is in a dark environment or a semi-dark environment using that cover. So here's a really good example of what the image looks like when you don't have the covers on the glasses and you're out and about in a bright environment. As you can see in the darker portions of the video, they're really washed out and then they're really hard to see. And then here's an example of what the image quality looks like using the covers. As you can see, the contrast ratio is greatly increased. Now as far as image quality goes, it's really good and I'm not even kidding. It's very crisp and clean with nice color representation. And even though it's only a 1080p screen, I can easily read small text and even edit my videos with Final Cut Pro on my Mac. One thing I did notice when watching videos, I got a much wider screen when using Plex to watch a movie, which was much more enjoyable because of the different aspect ratio versus watching a video on YouTube with only a 16 by nine ratio. Now, one problem I ran into that a lot of people might experience is if you have any problems with your vision, these glasses will make it very noticeable, depending on how drastic your vision issue is. For me, I have a slight difference in the distance each one of my eyes can see. Whenever I wear these glasses, I can see that one side of the lenses is fuzzier than the other. So if you wear glasses to see far away, you won't be able to see the screen through these glasses without wearing your glasses or getting special prescription lenses with the included lens connector. Now sound quality from the built-in speakers is definitely adequate for watching videos. It's pretty clear and can actually get quite loud. If you're in an environment that isn't whisper quiet, you should be able to turn up the volume on the built-in speakers enough so you can hear and not everyone around you able to hear what you're listening to, but if you turn it up all the way, you will end up annoying those around you. because that you show me that you care that I'm doing this for you by hitting that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. The built-in speakers will work if you don't have anything else to use like headphones for a better sound experience. Now, as far as device compatibility goes, right now Unreal says that there's only a certain phones and devices that the glasses will work with but you might have to just try it yourself on your device because if your device isn't on that list, it still may up end up working anyway. That's what I found out myself. I found that these glasses will work with the Samsung Tab S8 Ultra, Galaxy Fold 4, Galaxy Tab S5e, and surprising enough, it's plug and play with Apple's fifth generation iPad Air. Another really convenient unexpected feature I found was when using the VLC player, on the Galaxy tabs to watch videos. The screen of the tablet will show a casting icon, but nothing on the screen, and in the glasses you see the actual video. Not only is this excellent for privacy, but it saves on battery life as well. Now if you want to use these glasses with iPhones or gaming systems, even with the Nintendo Switch, you will need an adapter you can buy online. I also tried plugging these directly into the Nintendo Switch's USB Type-C port, but it also won't work without the adapter. I also tried plugging this into my Pixel 7 Pro and the app gives this message. It says that the device is still being adapted, so that won't work either. I also tried plugging the glasses into my Mac Studio without the use of the app. The system just simply adds it as another monitor that you can move windows over into. Now there's also an app called Nebula that you can use with these glasses. I use the word use loosely because it doesn't have a lot of functionality right now. The only thing worth really doing in the app is watching YouTube and you can do that without the use of the app with casting right from your device. The main gimmick of the app is how you can view web pages in waterfall mode. That's where you can move your head up and down and you can look up and down the page. The other feature is the fact that you can move windows further away or closer to you to get them slightly bigger than you can just by casting. The only problem with that is the lenses only have a 46 degree field of view. So if the screen is too close, you end up looking around the whole screen just to see everything. If you do end up getting these, I guarantee you open up the app once to see these features and never end up using the app again. 
I did try connecting the glasses up to my MacBook Pro using the Beta Nebula app, and all I saw on the glasses was white static. Maybe it's just not compatible with the MacBook. Now as far as battery life goes, these glasses don't have a built-in battery, so they're powered by the device they're connected to. Because the devices vary in battery size, the bigger devices like tablets and MacBooks will allow you to use the glasses much longer. So if you're using a phone like the Fold 4, you might only get about an hour's use before the phone's dead. Last night I actually watched two movies totaling 3 hours and 10 minutes long while the glasses were connected to my iPad Air. I had the iPad brightness set to its lowest setting because you don't need the iPad screen really to be on at all. I had the glasses brightness up all the way and the sound using the built-in speakers at a volume that I could hear in a quiet environment. I was streaming the movies using Plex and my starting battery life on the iPad was 82%. When the movies were done, I still had 40% battery life left. So if you have a larger device, you'll get a lot more use and that would be great for long road trips or flights. So the real question now is what I recommend these glasses and my question to you is one, what were you going to be using them for and how much money do you have to spend because at $379 right now they're limited compatibility and I think they're a little bit expensive for the type of compatibility that they offer right now. Now if you take long road trips or you have kids I definitely think that these glasses would be really good for you because I've taken a couple flights where I've watched some movies on my tablet that I have sitting in front of me on the little table and they might have been movies that I haven't watched in years and there might have been some questionable scenes on the screen and I have to quickly you know turn off the screen because I don't want everybody around me to see what I'm watching and this would definitely take care of that issue. I am pretty pleased with these glasses and like I said before the picture quality is pretty amazing for being only 1080p and the sound quality that comes out of these speakers is pretty good especially if you don't have any external uh, headphones that you can use on the go. Now there are a couple things that I kind of wish that they would make a little differently about these glasses. One is a greater field of view especially if you have problems with your vision if you can get a bigger screen you could definitely see it a lot easier, especially without using glasses. Maybe some blockers on the side of the glasses to block out more of the ambient outside light, which would be really nice that you can take on and off. Another thing that these glasses could really benefit from would be an offline video player inside the Nebula app because the Nebula app, again, allows you to move the screen further away or closer to you, which would help with your vision as well. Also, greater compatibility with all devices would be great. And if they could make the nose piece maybe have an option for a full nose piece like you would have on sunglasses, I think the fit would be a lot more comfortable like that as well. So again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick up these glasses yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links when you're making your purchases because it helps me keep purchasing products and do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Later.